paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Approaching the station. Yes! Oh, what a strikingly intelligent young man you are. Oh, isn't it wonderful? The miracle of human life, eh? It's just a baby, Peter. Babies happen all the time. To think we were once so innocent. You weren't. You were born with a suit on. And an injunction in your pocket. Do you think he looks at all like Simon? No. Maybe his DNA buggered off at conception like the rest of him. Here. Oh, you don't mind, do you? I just have to get this eight-year-old through her grade one. No, that's fine, Honor. You go, you go. Leave it to Uncle. And Auntie. Thanks. <laughs> I thought so. Giving up law, then. Full-time surrogate father instead now, are we? Daniel has just had his rusk. Oh, good. Good, because the Tucker sisters are here. Their muffin's been injured. He fell off a cliff up by the lighthouse. The fencing is down. He could have died. Isn't it safe up there, mister? Kingdom. Sorry. Uh, yes, I think I know that place. Well, it's the council's responsibility to maintain the fencing and to keep the coastal path safe for you, for Muffin, and for the rest of us. So you can rest assured we'll, uh, we'll pursue this with all our usual vigor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to, uh, if you'll excuse me, Lyle will see you out. You've got baby sick down your jacket. Yes? Bye. Would you to draft a letter to the council for me, full of, you know, indignation and sort of the abnegation of responsibility, duty of care, you know? Bye, um, nice. would you? Oh, oh. Thanks very much. Of course, um, but we need to talk. I'm sorry about that. Is he OK? Yes, he took his nap. In fact, Lyle was about to teach him his rights as a minor under the law of tort. Oh, I'm sure he's a very good teacher. Uh, Peter, I need that review. The one that you've been promising me. Review? Uh, for, for what, exactly? To make sure I'm covering all aspects of the law. Otherwise, I can't qualify. Oh, yes. Um, uh, all right. Uh, how about this? You're doing splendidly. No, no, no. It has to be proper. I haven't done any company law yet. Oh, but that's so dull. But I can't promise, you know us, here we're at the whim of whatever blows through our door. Mr Kingdom, I've got something for you. That's all right, Mr Snell, we already have a coat stand. Oh, oh, oh it's Bambi's twin sister. It's for horn dancing. Is it? That ought to do with fertility. We simulate the rut of the stags. Letting all the girls know that I am fertile and available. It's a personal injury case. A very personal injury. I got impaled in the buttocks by Raj's horn. That review you were pestering me about, we can discuss it over lunch. This is lunch, is it? I must know where I stand in the order of things. The country line, it shows how much I value you. This is one of the best eateries for miles around. Hello? Their speciality, is it? The Marie Celeste burger? <laughs> uh, well, I'm sure this one is good. Yeah? Oh. Yes. 
Just as good, if not better, because I'm hungrier now than I was two minutes ago on the other side of the road. Oh. Ah! Listen, something's got to be done about him, mate. I mean, I'm not being funny or anything, but I was here first, right? I've got a reputation, and he keeps on nicking my tray. Well, actually, you don't need me. You want to speak to our company law specialist, Mr. Lyle Anderson here. Really? All right. So you're the boy, are you? Yeah. Excellent. I'll tell you what I'll do. Two Angus McBeef burgers coming up. Well done, Georgina. <laughs> By far the best Christmas candle. She always wins. Beatrice. Every week it's the same person. What's wrong with this? Candles, holly, tinsel. What more do you want? There's always the cake-making competition for our next meeting. <laughs> Might as well just give her the prize now. <laughs> Audrey, you're right. Fine, yes. Oh, no. They haven't confirmed it, have they? Homeless, at our age. It's disgraceful. We had a petition. Why don't you raise it here? What can they do? The Market Shipper Women's Institute can do a lot of things. Mr. Kingdom. Mrs. Pritchard. Ladies. Oh, of course, it's the jumble sale. How stupid, I forgot. Niall! Jumble! Some of my brother's old things, but you should find something useful in there. Uh, no, Mr. Kingdom, we're not here for the jumble. Oh, it's not Beatrice again, is it? Oh, my mistake. You can take them back upstairs again. They didn't want jumble. And perhaps you'd like to come along for the drive. <laughs> Just make one thing clear, Mr. Kingdom. Although you are the WI's legal representative, you won't be acting for us. Well, not yet, anyway. Oh. Are we nearly there yet? Not far now. We're going through with it. We're going to shut it down. After everything we've all been through, it doesn't make sense. Virtually everyone in Market Ship signed the petition. They say it's because of the erosion. But we all know it's because they just want to save money. Well, if you build a lighthouse here, presumably it's because you need one. Try telling the bureaucrats in London that. All they do is read reports. They've never been here. Don't they remember 1964? Ten people died out there. We raised our family here, Mr. Kingdon. Have they given you a timetable? Letters all we've got. It's almost like we don't matter. Well, you do matter. Lyle? Lyle? Come on, Lyle. This could be one of your last chances to get this view. It's fine. Really. Just enjoy it without me. Come on, come on. Oh, 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 Just can't take one handed. Well, where's on it? Teaching. You woke up screaming in the middle of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Mr. Kingdom, it's affecting Ted's business. He can't bend over and change his barrel. I, I, I'll deal with it, Mr. Snow. I promise you. No, no, where, where are you going? I need you to help me with the lighthouse. Much better to be thrown in at the deep end. I'm on company law. Got to ring the highways Peter. department. Peter, I need recipes for cakes and I need them now. Please, please, not now. It's urgent. It's urgent. How are you on maritime law, hmm? And 
no services. Pregnant? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, clearly they're all broken. Mr. Kingdom, it's coming back to me. It is negligence. He slipped on some fruit juice spilt by the toddler group, and it's their responsibility to clear it up. Well, since you seem to know so much about it, why don't you pursue it yourself? But in the meantime, there's something you can help me with. Huh. There's one man in Market Shipro who knows how to be a pain in the backside of government monoliths. That man is you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kingdom. It's this lighthouse business. I've spoken to Trinity House. They say they are still going to close it down. Oh. So you want me to find some devious way of stopping them? Devious, no. Um, technical loophole stroke legal complexity, yes. What? So you're employing me? Freelance consultant, I think it would be a more accurate description. Huh? He's given me a job. Ad hoc. And don't worry, he's no higher up the salary scale than the Dickensian wage I'm forced against my will to pay you. Mm. I spoke to the council. They say they've taken all reasonable measures. Apparently, as soon as they mend the coastal path fence, some vandal comes along and cuts it. Why can't people just leave it alone? I mean, someone could die. Council say they only mended it the day before Muffin went over the edge. And that's another thing. How did they get Muffin back up again? It's only about the size of a... of a lemming. Maybe they formed a human chain. There are two of them, Lyle, and they're each over 50. Kingdom. Just in time for a game. <laughs> or some purple sprite and broccoli. I'm afraid bringing any kind of action to recover your losses from Muffin's vet bills is unlikely to succeed. Oh dear. These things happen. Lemon cheesecake. Um, no thanks, I'm, I'm not allowed. See, they can argue they're doing everything they possibly can. They've actually been repairing that particular part of the fence at least twice a week. Matter of fact, I think even as we speak. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Oh! Blast. Sorry. Well, possibly, but uh, rogue elements armed with bolt cutters are notoriously hard to predict. The council have got DC Yelland onto the case to see if he can prevent it happening again, but I'm sorry. Even in the law, being the innocent party sometimes isn't enough. Well, muffin's back to normal. Normal. And that's all Mostly that matters. matters. Mr. Kingdom, some you win, and some you lose. This one, we lost. Have a look at him, look. You see, there's no rules about where you can or can't trade and lay by. She's very nice. So what are you saying? Well, I'm saying that as long as he leaves the site every night, cause there's no nuisance or obstruction, well, there's nothing we can do. You got any horse radish? I don't believe this. I've got a good mind to go over there, turn these gas bottles on and torch it to the ground. No, it's not a good idea. But we've been here 30 years. My dad used to run this before me. We were in the best lay-by guy 10 years running, thank you very much. He's even calling himself a name like mine. You see, I'm Burger It, OK? People know it. They like it. It's funny. So what's he calling himself? Burger off. Oh. I want him oh. crushed. Right. Oh, that's rank. Oh, dear. Have you made one? No. You have, haven't you? You're lying. Just a small sponge. <laughs> now then, young miss. Can you remember anyone at the toddler's group who spilt fruit juice on the floor? at or about the level of the electric fire on the wall. Answer! I'm sorry, I don't really remember. 
I'm usually far too busy chatting with the other mums. Oh, lack of parental control. Got to write that down. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Miss Kingdom, Miss Kingdom. Lighthouses. I am now the world's official expert on all things flashing. So, have you found a pearl amongst the oysters, then? No, mm, just a lot of grit, I'm afraid. Trinity House have done everything by the book. They want to close it down, they can do just that. Oh, it's so disappointing after all we've done. Yeah, they can even turn it into flats if they want. Can they? You mean they can sell it to whomever they like? They could do exactly as they please. So they could even sell it to someone who wanted to keep it as a lighthouse. Oh, very good, Mr. Kingdon. The tomes, Mr. Snell, the tomes. We've got digging to do. Thank you. You ever want a company law specialist, and I'm your man. Ah, you solved the Burger Van Wars of the A147, eh? Excuse me, not, not Jeff Smith. Do you know him? Well, how much do you think I've got to waste this size? Have you tried the one with double Norfolk mustard? Oh, God! Oh! Oh, it stinks! It's burning! It's getting water, come on! Ah, uh, uh, Very strong is Norfolk uh, mustard. You all right? Uh, you are all right, yeah? Look. Yeah? Ah. Uh, oh. Anyway. Oh, your dispute. I think I've got a solution. Hey! Oh, boy, get in, get in quick! Hey, 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 hey. Yo, mate! I'll have you. Is this guy serious? <laughs> Happens every day, mate. Right. Well, he's going to court. Really? It's called a passing off action. Oh, right. You see, by calling himself a name almost identical to yours, yeah. he's misrepresenting himself and injuring your established business. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? I'll tell you what. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to have to serve him with papers, so what I need from you is his name. Gordon. Gordon what? Well, Gordon Smith, he's my brother. Your brother? Yeah. Mr Kingdon? What is it, Mr Snow? I think I've got it. Oh, congratulations. It's a part See? I told you it's a conspiracy. She should be banned. Ah, you're here. Oh, look, you've had a baby. Ah, well, it's not actually mine. He's, um, it's my brother's. Well, you know, you uh, wasn't settling very well, so I took him out and got him some fresh air. Yeah, seems to have done the trick. <laughs> yeah, he's related to me, too. saying we buy the lighthouse. I uh, know it's a bit more complicated than that. You see, they're not allowed to sell to the Women's Institute, but they would be allowed to sell to an established lighthouse authority. Oh, that's... No, no, so we set one up. We become a lighthouse authority. It is possible. It's been done before. Then I suggest that we put this to the vote. I didn't know anyone was here. Sorry. But don't let me stop you. It sounded wonderful. Oh, I was just tinkering. Do you play? Me? <laughs> no. Do you want to try? You're mad. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. okay, so you're going to accompany me with eight notes, all right? I'll show you. Two people voted against. Neither. Ellen, John, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, so it's a three count after three. Okay. All right. One, two, three. Very good. 
That was amazing. that I've ruined it. Why did I do it? Why, Peter? Well, sometimes the moment overtakes us, doesn't it? Abandoning our constraints for a joyous nanosecond, we cast our inhibitions to the wind. But what does Lyle think of me? Has he said anything? Oh, what's the point? Even if he has, I've ruined it. Nothing's ever that black or white. Will you speak to him? You know him. You know me. Woman trouble? Me? No. Man trouble. What? Definitely not. What, you want to talk about it? <laughs> not really. How's your injury doing? Superb. I am getting a lot of female sympathy since I started showing in the wound. I haven't actually managed to convert to anything stronger, but I am working on it. Maybe that's what you need. Get yourself an injury. Walk with a limp. Hey, I'm only trying to help. What do I have to say to make you believe me? I do believe you. I did not vote against the lighthouse. I don't give a toss about the lighthouse. I don't give a toss about those menopausal women. Why does everybody always blame me? I, I merely wondered aloud who it was. Oh, piss off. I'm sorry. It could have been anyone. Mrs. Lloyd Jukes has never forgiven Cynthia for taking over the chair. Mrs. Elliot doesn't speak to Mrs. Bolton ever since the elderflower cordial incident. Miss Huntley's nose is out of joint since no one at her chili con con at the hot supper. You see, it's Backstabbers Anonymous. I had no idea it was such a nest of vipers. Beatrice? Beatrice? Go away! Lyle! Lyle! Peter, council rang. Someone's vandalised the coastal path fence again. Sometime yesterday afternoon. And you've had 15 messages from separate WI members. All of them think they know who voted against. Aha. Uh -huh. All of them gave me a different name. Oh, what made me think they'd be capable of running a lighthouse authority? Lyle! Ah, you haven't seen him, have you? Well, he hasn't made a point of saying hello, if that's what you mean. Lyle? Who is it? It's Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Who do you think it is? <laughs> You're going to have to talk to her eventually, you know. You can't lock yourself up here forever like some sort of legal nun. I didn't start it. I just went to listen to her playing the piano, and before I knew it... We... She fancies you. Well, for heaven's sake, you could do far worse, you know. Yeah, yeah, and suppose I did pursue it and things get serious. She's the mother of your brother's son, which means I could end up being stepfather of your nephew, which would make you and me step-brothers. Yes, well, fortunately for both of us, in law, such connection has no meaning whatsoever. But you will speak to her? Yes. <gasps> Good. So, how are the burger van wars going? Actually, yeah, I need to speak to you. I was going to issue a passing-off action. That seems a reasonable way forward. Except the other burger van man. Uh, they're related. They're brothers. Brothers? Oh, come on, Lyle. What are you afraid of? Get away from Lyle. Hi. Hi. Excuse me, I... I, I, I... Can we talk later? Yeah? Yeah. OK. 
Later. Uh, I'll Bye. As you started it by moving the banding on his patch. His patch? Oh, that's great, that is. I don't suppose he told you where we got his patch. Well, your dad left it to him. Look, it's me, Jeff. Lyle Anderson, your solicitor. <laughs> Look, listen, I flipped burgers over there in that labour by my dad for ten years. Me, not him. While he was off hitchhiking around the globe, I was up to my elbows in burger fat. Right. Well, he, he never mentioned. Oh, well, he wouldn't, would he? You know, never does. Story of my life there. Do all the work and none of the credit. Well, why don't your dad leave the van to you? Well, he was the blue eyed boy, weren't he? Four years he was away and then only rang home to get bailed out of some financial crisis in Thailand or Australia. So then when he come back, took over that place and sacked me, what was I supposed to do? Saved up, bought this van and tried to get back a piece of what's rightfully mine. So you can talk all you like, Mr. Anderson, but I'm going nowhere. Oh, you sold a solution, sir? Not yet. Off the peppers, he moves on to tomatoes. <laughs> Unless the WI stop their petty squabbling, we are sunk. Just like the Mona Lee. Sorry? The 1964 tragedy. It was before my time, Mr. Kingdom. But if this lighthouse isn't here, it'll happen again. Mark my words. Peter? What sort of dog was that? Big one? Little one? Sorry, what dog are you talking about? A Tucker Sisters. Doesn't answer the name Muffin, does it? It's only I've got a witness, so you saw two ladies cutting the fence. Witness thought the dog was called Muffin. Are they sure? Not enough to press any charges. But why on earth would they want to do that? <laughs> Bouncing and beautiful as ever. Gotcha. Now, where, where is your mummy, eh? Nice girl, Honor. She could do with a decent man. What she saw in your thoroughly indecent brother. Heaven only knows. You won't go getting too attached now, will you? I want all of you fuss too much. Well, there's always the off chance that Simon might show himself again. Oh, I don't think there's much chance of that, frankly. Simon, as Christopher Waller, was last seen in Las Vegas over a year ago. He's probably in some proverbial ditch dead as... Oh, for heaven's sake, what is... I mean, why don't I just buy a Formula One Ferrari? It's got fewer moving parts. The Women's Institute has always been dominated by self-interest. That's its strength. At least everybody knows who dislikes who. If the world was run by the Women's Institute, we wouldn't have half the problems we do. Though why they voted against the lighthouse? Heaven alone knows. Yes, and why did the man at the lifeboat station suggest I ask you about the disaster? I was courting one of the lifeboat men who was killed that night. Lionel Purvis. I don't think it would have led to anything, but I was devastated all the same. The ship foundered on the rocks and the lifeboat was washed over the top. Why was the ship so close in? And because the lighthouse keeper had let the light go out. Lord knows what he was doing. Nobody ever found out. I don't think he ever came to terms with himself either. He took his own life. Oh, that's terrible. Yes. The people you should ask are the Tucker sisters, though they would have been quite young. The Tuckers? It was their Uncle Tom who was the lighthouse keeper. You knew? Well, why didn't you think to tell me? Well, I didn't think it was relevant. In this office, Mr. Snell, I'll be the arbiter of what is or is not relevant. 
So what can you tell me about him, this, this uh, Tom Tucker? Oh, a bit of an odd bloke, really. Never married, a bit of a strange family all round. Did those sisters sign the petition? I don't know. Well, find out, will you? Get on to the planning department. I want to know if anyone's ever lodged an objection to anything involving the matter at any time in the past. Beatrice, about this morning, I, I didn't mean to upset you. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. No, you're not, Peter. What you're sorry for is your own little upset in your own little world. You're a lawyer. You use words to hurt people. That is your job. Miss Kingdom, I've worked out who Ted should sue for his injuries, and I've sent them off a letter. Oh, good, good. Yes, um, well done. Mm. Never sent a letter on headed notepaper before. On my headed paper? Yeah. Mr Snell, you don't work here. No. And even if you did, you're not even remotely qualified to bring an action on behalf of any client. No. So who are you suing? Ah. Uh -huh. Can't remember. Have you been swimming in Ratatouille? Can I put laundry on expenses? Kingdom solicitors? One moment. It's for you, Peter. Mrs. Jodie Higgins. Hmm? Peter Kingdom? Oh, yeah. I see. I see. And how old is your son? Good, uh, uh, good Lord, I need to get some milk. Uh, ch 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 uh, I'm sorry. Well, I can assure you, Mrs Higgins, that no member of my staff is involved. I will launch a full inquiry and get back to you as soon as I have. I am so sorry. Mr Snell, Ted's antler buttocks injury case. Uh-huh. What on earth possessed you to sue a two-year-old child? A witness? I believe so. I imagine it'll only be a matter of time before DC Yelland is knocking on their door. With that dealt with, we all feel safer on that path near the lighthouse. That's very good news. Very, very good news. Is it? Look, I know that it was you two who've been cutting the fence. And I know it was the pair of you who voted against the lighthouse the other evening. Why? Your uncle was the lighthouse man. What's your objection to the lighthouse? Sweet peas look nice this year, don't they, Mr Kingdom? Look, forget about the sweet peas, Dolly. This is important. What is your objection to the lighthouse? I just can't understand what they've got against it. I mean, if their uncle worked there, surely they know how important that lighthouse is. Mind you, if Tom Tucker was my uncle, I'd want it knocked down. Ready? <laughs> You're obviously not listening, mate, because N-O spells no. Well, then you listen to me, Mr Smith. The bruising suffered by Mr Anderson here goes way beyond the call of duty of any trainee solicitor. I don't know where you get your tomatoes from, but I suggest you change your supplier before someone gets really hurt. You will talk to your brother and you will talk to him today, even if I have to drag you there myself. So, can I hit him? No, you may not. There will be no punching, no gouging, no physical contact of any kind. No water bombs will be launched and no bottoms will be shown. Unless you sign up to a complete cessation of hostilities, there will be no deal. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Good. Then a uh, diplomatic mission will commence in one minute. See you there.
Right. Now, we can do... Right. So we can do this one of two ways. The first is the legal way, where Jeff here takes an action against you, Gordon. Bring it on. Which you naturally defend. Yes, you're right, I do. Which costs you both thousands in fees, with the loser paying even more money. In fact, the only happy people be me and Mr. Anderson. Yada, yada, yada. Because you'll have paid us a small fortune, which will go a long way towards paying for that holiday in Barbados we've been promising ourselves. Factor 20. Or you can play it the other way, where you stop being so pathetic and sort it out for yourselves like men. Hmm. This is not only cheaper, but it will also spare the Barbadians the sight of me in swimming trunks. So, which is it to be? Have you considered that if you stopped fighting, you could actually work together? Hmm? Both sides of the road, uh, one business for the good of all concerned. No more burger it and burger off, but burger all. I think they want us to get out of the road. I'll see ya. Are you all right? You're not hurt. Well, if he is, he's not saying anything like the brave little soldier he is. Where are you taking Daniel? Oh, Tallegrim. Tell you what. Let me. You can stay behind and uh, tend Lyle's wounds. It was a most uncivil war. Uh, Chloe, huh? shall we, uh, that thing? Oh. I'm afraid it's been a complete mix-up. A uh, member of staff responsible had no idea that your son's only two. Ted, I'm glad you could come along. I want you to meet the mother of the boy who spilled the juice that you slipped on. Is that boys? I thought we weren't supposed to communicate until we got to court. Oh, you're not going to sue him. What do you mean? Sidney said I had an open shirt case. Oh, he did, did he? Oh. Well, I thought you wouldn't want to. Um, you see, his mother's recently divorced. And uh, so is Sarah over there. Emily. Hello. Hello. And Rachel. Hello. In fact, you launch a case against the toddler group and you can kiss goodbye to your chances of dating any woman from here to Yarmouth. Judy, I'd like you to meet Ted, who was injured by your son's fruit juice. Oh, uh, well, just a flesh wound. I'd show it to you, but, you know, his kiddie's present. Went in here. Ooh. We were practicing the horn dance it's about fertility. I see you ladies know all about that. Do you need a hand? Oh, thank you. I'm more than capable. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, How's it going? <laughs> so, how did we get on? Inquest on Tom Tucker's suicide. And shipper disaster inquiry. Uh, there was something in there I didn't know. On the night in question, there were two young girls in the lighthouse, but they were too young to be called as witnesses. Mm. Doreen and Dolly Tucker. It's not so much a file on them, more a series of complaints. You ask me, that's why he killed himself. Nothing to do with the tragedy. I'm not so sure. I think maybe they were both linked. Um, you haven't seen that, by the way. No, no of course not. In the same way that I never confirmed they had a dog called Muffin. You, Mr. Kingdom. Swing ball? Not today, Miss Tucker. You see, the question that 
kept coming back to me again and again was why you two wanted that lighthouse shut down. When you, more than anybody else, know how important it is to keep it open. And you kept cutting the fence to make the erosion seem more dangerous. And then I read these. The inquest into your uncle's death and the inquiry into the tragedy. You were at the lighthouse on that night, weren't you? It was a secret that your Uncle Tom asked you to keep, wasn't it? From what I understand, there were other complaints, other children, other young girls. Of course, you couldn't complain, you, your family. Mum would get us to take food to Uncle Tom. We had no choice. We were told we weren't. Your mother couldn't have known. And anyway, how could you tell her? You couldn't tell her. You couldn't tell anyone, could you? We hate that lighthouse, Mr. Kingdom. I'm sure for you it can't fall into the sea soon enough. <laughs> All I would say to you is this. For the moment, just believe that Uncle Tom's lighthouse no longer exists. It died when he threw himself off the top of it. It's our lighthouse now. It belongs to all of us. Will all those in favor of us creating a lighthouse authority to save the market ship for a lighthouse, please raise your hand. Would the godparents please step forward? <laughs> Daniel, Simon, Peter, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. He has your eyes. Well, let's hope that's the only thing in mind he's burdened with. Oh, come on, he could do worse. He could have Simon's swindling and fraudulent genetic nature. Um, Christian present? Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, it's the point of being a godfather if you can't spoil your godson, yeah? And uh, for you, a little something to... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, listen, you've been more than generous already, letting us stay. I don't know what I would have done. Well, it's the least I could do under the circumstances. Just a shame that Simon isn't here to play a part in his life, too. Still, I'll do my best to make a poor substitute. Oh, Simon was never reliable. We were wondering if you'd be available to babysit. What do you mean? Oh, oh, well, I see. Um, yes, I'm, I'm sure. Couldn't we? Yes, when? <laughs> You're good with children. Me? Yeah. Oh, don't put yourself down.
You know, if you ever get barred from being a lawyer, you could always become a childminder. I can't explain it. I've never felt it before. It must be something to do with coming from the same gene pool. It stinks in here. Have you been smoking? Oh! I said Daniel. Simon. It's good to see you again. <laughs>